new Windows phone uh, as a part of the partnership between Nokia and Microsoft. Yes. So what's so exciting about this uh, Windows phone? Uh, actually, the first thing is uh, Nokia obviously is known for world class hardware. And obviously these devices are extremely brilliant. When you look at the Nokia Lumia 800 or even the Nokia Lumia 710, uh, both of these are actually amongst the you know fan most fantastic Windows phones that are out there. Uh, in fact, the Nokia Lumia uh, 800 actually has Gorilla Glass uh, and a 1.4 gigahertz uh, processor inside it. Uh, it also has a clear black display and you just look at the device. It's a very smooth feel. There is no edges, there's nothing to open, there's nothing to close. So that's obviously a very, very compelling, creative, gorgeous device from a user perspective. Okay. Uh, could you tell us about the features of this phone? Sure. So what Nokia has done is they've added uh, three more experiences uh, onto the phone. Uh, first is turn by turn directions. It's called Nokia Drive, uh, which basically has maps for 750 cities in India. Uh, these are maps that are on the device. You don't have to go up and down from the internet to see bitmaps. This is actually vector based uh, uh, maps that are available. So, and you also have 50 languages. So, you can have uh, you know, directions in Hindi. Here, left turn, here, right turn, which is very, very good. You can also have it in other Indian languages. That's one thing. Second thing that Nokia is doing is uh, Nokia is launching Nokia Music, uh, which is basically all you can eat music uh, from Nokia. Uh, which will include basically both a streaming music service as well as a download and play experience uh, which will be free on Nokia devices. Okay. So those are the things. Yeah. Uh, if you could tell us more about the specifications in being like uh, how much is the processor? Uh, sure. Should, yeah. so, so the Nokia Lumia 800 is a 1.4 gigahertz uh, processor inside it. It has 512 MB of ROM and it has 16 GB storage. It also comes with a Carl Zeiss lens and an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, and uh, Gorilla Glass on top, Super AMOLED display, 3.7 inch uh, gorgeous display and the display is all black. So when you look at it, uh, you will not see any shades of grey. When you look at an LCD screen, you typically will see a grey colour versus with uh, the Nokia Lumia 800, it's an all black display. So when you look at it, you just can't tell where the screen starts and where the screen ends. That's something very unique to the Nokia device. Okay, and, and what's probably the weight uh, for both of the devices? Uh, so this device is 142 grams, the Nokia Lumia 800 and, uh, and the Nokia Lumia uh, 710 is about 130 grams. That's okay. a little lighter. Do we actually have the NFC support? In uh, no, NFC support is not built into these devices. What Nokia has announced is uh, future devices will have NFC support. And the first NFC support from Nokia will come on the Windows Phone platform. Apart from uh, these two phones, any information uh, that probably you can give about when can we expect the Nokia N9? Uh, no, we are not saying anything about when the Nokia N9 or any other device will come. Uh, of course, a lot of people have said that this device looks very, very similar to what the uh, N9 could have been. So, but, but there are no more. There's no more information at this point about what additional devices Nokia and Microsoft may launch in the future. When it comes to ap applications like the uh, Microsoft Windows Marketplace, mm -hmm. it, it suddenly uh, it, it, it fails to match up pace with the Android uh, developers marketplace as well as the iOS. So if you could elaborate on it, like uh, where is Microsoft lacking on it? Uh, actually, I think the, if, you, if you look at it from a slightly different perspective, the scenario is very different. So for example, uh, today is like the 14th of November. One year ago, last year, on November 4th, is when we launched Windows Phone. Uh, and that's when we opened the marketplace. So one year ago, there was no Windows Phone, uh, there was no Windows Phone marketplace. And we've gone from 0 to 35,000 in one year. And when you look at, uh, you know, this momentum, uh, no other marketplace got to 35,000 as fast as we have, none of them. Uh, that's it. Some of the other marketplaces have been around for 2 years, 4 years, 5 years. So they obviously have a lead. Okay. But the rate at which we are going, we are obviously very, very confident that we will have many more apps uh, inside our marketplace, many more developers who are signing up to our marketplace, even in India. Uh, and again, the interesting thing to keep in mind is the 35,000 apps that we talk about uh, has been over the last one year and Indian developers have been able to submit apps into the marketplace only since the last one month. So you can basically say that 35,000 applications doesn't include any application submitted by an Indian developer. So when India comes to the party, we know how big Indian developers are, how many Indian developers there are and obviously we are very excited about what they will do with our marketplace. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, j just recently we have witnessed HTC uh, Radar carrying right. the Microsoft Windows OS, we have witnessed Samsung Omnia mm -hmm. carrying the uh, Windows OS. and now most recently Nokia has launched two phones. Correct. So where does uh, the road for Microsoft's OS, mobile OS go from here? Like how many more handsets uh, can India expect? From uh, uh, as, as from the, the Microsoft stable. Uh. Sure. So right now, all the devices that we have to launch, uh, every device has been made available. Uh, there are no new 
uh, sort of uh, original devices that we're expecting into India. So HTC is coming, Samsung is coming, uh, Acer is coming, and Nokia is coming, and all of them are available right now. Any news that you would like to hint, probably like in the future, probably next year, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Microsoft is gonna not, not sorry Microsoft, but any other brand that's gonna have a tie up with Microsoft in terms of OS. Uh, any news or any hint that so we're like we're we we obviously open. So if there is any manufacturer out there who wants to uh, come manufacture Windows Phone devices, we are happy to work with them. Uh, and like there was a question earlier, we also relax the hardware requirements. So obviously we're very keen. If there are more people who want to come make a Windows Phone, we are happy to work with them. Uh, one of the latest editions actually has been uh, a company in China called uh, ZTE. Uh, they are a very large scale bulk manufacturer of phones. They've also signed up to make Windows Phones. So it's a partnership. We're open to more partnerships. And uh, we have also uh, like seen news, we have also observed news about like uh, the Windows 8 OS exclusively right. for tablets. Yes. So when can we expect that in India? Uh, again, we are not giving dates for Windows 8 because Windows 8 is yeah. not even hit a beta milestone yet. Okay. Uh, there will be more news coming about it in the, in the next few months. Uh, that might be a much better place for us to talk about Windows 8. Mm -hmm.